Hello everyone, it's me again. This is going to be a short blog. What is the topic today? Nothing. Just some of everything. Um, I tend to blog to get things off my chest. Not just to talk about everyday things because I'm not that type of person. You know. But I'm going to blog today. Okay. First thing um, I want to talk about is the makeup industry. I get questions all the time. How did you get into it? Um, what steps did you take? Do you like it? Is business good? All kind of stuff. And I can't tell you how to get into it. You just got to have passion for it. Um, you're going to come to me, being in the town where I come from, not where I come from, but where I live. Um, and I don't want to call to say that, you know, there isn't room for somebody like me who's trying to make it in the business because it is. But um, a lot of the times, I, I honestly believe the color of my skin stops a lot of things. Um, you don't want to say anything like that without having proof or something that makes you feel like that. So I'm going to say why I feel like that. I advertise, right? Okay. So I get a lot of inquiries about my services and the things that I offer. You know, this is some of the work I did. You know, like that slideshow, for instance. I'll show people the shots, the slideshow. And, you know, um, they would be like, oh, you do great work. This is beautiful. You know, I love it. And as soon as they get on the phone with me, and regardless of how country I am, trust and believe I am a very smart individual. You know what I'm saying? English was one of my best subjects. Now, you might not be able to tell that from my videos, but when I'm vlogging and talking to y'all, I feel like I'm talking to one of my homies. It's no need for me to put on that, you know, that Ivy League voice is what I call it. It's no need for that. You know, we chilling. I ought to be able to just sit down and talk to you and, ha and not have you say, well, um, it's not, it's, you don't put at at the end. You know, I, I don't need for you to tell me that. I know all of that stuff. So I feel like I should be able to just sit and relax. But when I'm on the phone with somebody trying to get some on, when I'm on the phone with somebody that, you know, got some potential or whatever, I put on that voice. And they'll be like, okay, well, um, I'll get back with you. And it's, it's like that all the time. But when I talk to my black folks, you know, when they want a wedding done or something like that, they scoop me up quick. They're like, you know, you're easy to work with, you're professional. You know, I just don't think the color of my skin should matter, whether or not I'm behind the scenes at your wedding, be in your face. It, it just doesn't matter to me. It doesn't, but obviously it does. And that's just, you know, it's so disheartening. It's, it's, it really is. It bothers me, you know. I have invested a lot of time into what I try to do. I have invested a lot of time. Um, time that I don't have a lot, you know. I've invested a lot, and I just don't feel like, I don't want to boo -hoo and I don't want to try to feel sorry for me because that's not what I'm aiming for. I just, I want to talk to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody up here but me and my husband. Tony's in Alabama. And, you know, I talked to him about it, but he could give a shit less about makeup. You know, he, he respects and he, he um, supports me in what I do. But I don't want to bore him. If I was talking about UWC or whatever the hell that is, wrestling, he'd be interested. But I'm talking about makeup. But, um, let me see. I got a little time left. You know, I'm talking to y'all. But, um, yeah. You just got to stay at it. All I can say is network, network, network. Advertise as much as you can. Tell everybody in a mama, drop your cards off. You know, try to build a strong portfolio, which is something that I don't have. I've been doing weddings for a long time, but I don't have a strong portfolio, you know. So I'm trying to work with photographers and stuff to try to get, you know, try to get my name out there and work with some talent, work with some good models.
but it's hard in this area. This is a little bitty town. And people are kind of closed-minded, you know. And I have a vision, you know what I'm saying? I have an artistic vision. I have, um, I know I can look at somebody and just see a mural. Just, you know, a, a array of things that I could do to their face. And then I could do the classic natural shot. And believe it or not, all of this stuff that, you know, I do for YouTube, you know, the looks and everything, they're for fun. You know, they're, you can go out to the club with them, but half of the stuff I would not wear. And a lot of the times on here, I don't do crazy, crazy looks with, you know, stuff. I, I can do the stuff. I just don't, you know, I don't know why I don't feel like I need to show y'all that. It's enough people on here that, you know, straight got, I saw a girl with a little pony, my little pony on her face, and she did an excellent job. It was so cute. But I was saying to myself, damn, she took probably about an hour, two hours to do that. And she probably going to wipe that shit off and go to bed, you know. So when I get in the mood, I do stuff like that a lot. But most of the time when I do it, I don't put it on camera. I do it, I look at it, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty. And then I wipe that shit off and go to bed. Um, my husband and I, we're going to be taking a little trip nothing big time to New Orleans and I love New Orleans it's such a majestic town to me um, you might not think so but I love it and I enjoy myself every time I go the food is delicious and I'm a cooker so yeah what else can I talk about my website um, I'm still I'm thinking about just uh, just, I don't know. I want to add new products, but I just don't have the time to devote to it like I need to. And I know I don't. I've been having issues with my mailman. I don't know if he's stealing my shit. I don't know if it's when he's picking it up, he's dropping something. But a lot of shit is not getting where it's supposed to get. And it's beginning to get on my nerves. And I've been dealing with this same dude for a long time. I have gone to the postmaster about him. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm tired, y'all. Um, a lot of people ask me, do I do makeup full-time? Yes, I freelance full-time. I have, you know, all day to devote to my craft. So, most days I'm sitting here in the mirror doing makeup. Coming up with a new look. That's me. I live a humdrum life. You know, it's me and my husband, we just chill out. I would like a natural light right now. That would be really good. But I think my camera's probably going to cut off in a second. No, I got three more minutes. But, um, yeah. I went home to see my folks. I didn't stay long, but I just dropped in to see them. They're doing good. Grandma doing good. Tune and Kaylin, they doing good. Everybody's peach king. Hopefully it stays that way. Mmm. -hmm. What else? Uh, oh, I got some stuff. Let me show you. I just did a toot on this palette, and it'll be up in a minute. This look right here, I mean this palette right here, it's by Too Faced. It's called Too Faced Insurance Policy. It actually has the, um, it's infused with the primer. So, that was a good thing, but I'll use the primer anyway. It came with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, so got it from Ulta. I don't buy new things often. You know, I see people with tons of makeup. I guess I'm a minimalist, you know. If I don't really need it, I kind of don't buy it. You know, I have a pretty decent collection, but I try to focus on my makeup kit, my professional kit. If I have to buy some, most of the time it's for that. But for myself, I guess, I don't know. I guess I don't need all of that. And I know I don't need it. So, I don't go out and just buy 30 shadows because they were on sale. I just don't do that. I know some of y'all do. And I be looking like, ooh, those are so pretty. But I ain't going to do shit with them. So, I ain't going to need to be buying them. You know what I mean? Um, what else can I talk about? Nothing. That's it. I'm done. I'm spent. It is 
me show y'all what time it is. Show y'all when I say I be up just doing nothing. Can you see that? It is 5.35. I don't know if you can see that. Shut up. My phone is horrible on focusing. But just look right there. It's 5.35 a.m. And I'm sitting up talking to y'all. And I'm going to wipe all this stuff off. And get in the bed and watch Cat Williams. Because that's what I want to do. Because I'm not sleeping. But my cigarette is almost gone. So that usually means that it's time for me to go. And it's been real. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Bye.